Hello, so we are back, finally Friday. And today we have a job, I believe it's from a computer shop. Uh, problem beer spilled into the keyboard. And uh, green corrosion in an IO uh, controller chip. Laptop, it's only needed for building TPM to decrypt the SSD. Clean up the corrosion, try to desolder, clean and reattach the ENE IO controller. Lost two legs and couple of pads below the chip in the process. The job is clearly too delicate from my tools and skill level. You know what? We are not here to judge, yeah? We are here to learn. So doing mistakes, that's that's okay, that's fine, because that's how you learn. Okay, so I'm not we're not gonna judge here the work done by some another uh, some other technician. Okay, this is a Haki HP laptop i7. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's nothing to learn by, you know, judging someone else. Nothing, yeah? It's just, you know, a toxic attitude. Constructive critics, on the other hand, yeah, can be helpful. So, uh... I can't see the EC chip on this side of the board. I believe we have to take the board out. Okay, so we took out the motherboard. Yeah, indeed, it's looking bad. It is looking bad. So how bad it is? Hmm? We should judge? <laughs> no. It's fine, yeah? It is fine. It's not that bad. If you ignore the two pins missing from the chip. <laughs> no, really, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, 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 it's okay. It's like 10 minute job. Why the customer failed to fix himself this chip? Anyone could figure it out? No one? is because the customer didn't didn't try the x-grade rosin yeah that's the reason that's the reason yeah that's the reason why you need good stuff here you need professional stuff i'm just joking obviously but yeah a good uh, flux it can make a difference Okay, so we took out the EC chip. Uh, let's check the pads. So what is wrong with the pads? Okay, we have one pad broken here. This this this, this repair will be very expensive from a sim simple reason. We need a lot of proper calibrated wires in order to sort this job. Mm -hmm. Proper calibrated wire, it's expensive. Can make you a lot of money. Right? <laughs> okay. Where is the solder? Yeah, more rosin. Rosin is good. Perfect. Come on, go away. More rosin. So you see, only with huge amount of rosin you can get rid of the bridges. Lots and lots of rosin. Yeah, perfect. And here we have a dodgy pad, but it looks fine. Uh, 
Replacing the AC chip? No, I'm not gonna replace the AC chip for two broken pins. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay, so the only problem we have here is this track and this one, yeah? Let me use a wire. So we need from here. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I fail. I mean, don't tell me you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, Stop doing a job just because you have missing pins from a chip. I won't believe that. I will not believe that. How to fix broken pins from a chip? I'll show you. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Let's clean quickly. I mean, otherwise the pads are good. I can't see any problem with the pads. Wait, it's one more. One second. Is this one? I forgot about this one. Perfect, perfect. Good. Now let's clean it. Okay, so the board is ready. We have to comb with the EC chip. I mean, it's looking good, right? So on the EC chip, two pins are missing. So I'm assuming this pin is actually coming there. Like that. Good, let's solder the, the EC chip. Perfect. Okay, let's clean it. Now let's try to analyze every pin, yeah? And eventually reflow uh, or resolder every pin, yeah? Solder, solder, solder. This one is not solder, this one is not solder.
Perfect. This one is no solder, this one, this one. Three pins here. Perfect. So what, all what is left are the two missing pins, right? Check that we have some big pins. You can see, I mean, even if they are broken, uh, they are still there. Rosin. Rosin is good for this kind of jobs because uh, it will give some strength to, the, to this, you know, because this will be like, you know, kind of dodgy soldering only on this pin. So it will give some stretch to the wire. We're going to use a, pr a different uh, side of uh, this different size of proper calibrated fuse here. Uh -huh. You clearly see it's different size. Perfect, so that's one. Good. Perfect. Perfect, we soldered both pins onto the chips. So now the question is, it will work or not? That's the question. Dodgy job? Yeah, but you know, the customer want to recover the data. I can't see why this job, will, it will be dodgy. He want his data back, so we need a charging port. Let's see if the board is starting. That's the charging port. Let's plug the charger. We plug in the charger. Okay, let's power on. I believe it's some pins here. The short ground. Ten milliamps. 20, okay, only 20. Why? He's not coming on. Okay, so we clean the board. Let's check again. Good. Perfect. 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 
perfect. Everything is perfect here. I'm not sure about those resistors. That's fine. Okay, let's check here. Yeah, I can see the problem. I can see the or or this trap just uh, the possible when I move the pin when I clean it. Yeah, possible, but let's be sure this is soldered properly. This is no solder here on the base. Oh. So here is fine, here is fine. Oh, I just broke this one. Yeah, looks solid. Looks solid. Plug in the charger, it's taking like 10 milliamps, right? Let's sure the power button. And the board is coming on, check there, 400 milliamps, you can see. Ha! We fix it! I can't believe. Can't believe it worked. So that's how you fix a broken pin from a chip, okay? I mean, you can make that solid. You can use some uh, more rosin over the, the wire. Or you can use hot glue. Ready for the final test? Let's see. Apply in the charger. Let's push the power button. Power button and the laptop is coming on. You can see the current. It's working, we have picture. Check there, we have picture. <laughs> so now the customer or the computer shop can recover the data for the customer, yeah? Because that was the idea. Yeah, and it's loading the windows. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.